All right, so today's break and run. It's a straight pool break and run. Uh, and so if you're wondering why I give you one rack straight pool break and runs, it's because I did something stupid and wasn't able to continue the run. Um, so the first shot there, the three, the first thing we have to do in straight pool after the break is to get control of the cue balls and get it into a place where we're shooting what we want to shoot, not what we have to shoot. Um, so the three ball put us in a position to make the eight to get down here and clear out this bottom rail. Now I like clearing the bottom rail early. Um, the, when we do our next break, more stuff is going to come down to the bottom and we don't want anything down there to really complicate it. So we're going to go ahead and clear it out now. All right. So once we've gotten control of the cue ball, uh, and we've cleared out underneath the rack. The very next goal is to get a breakout. And so I'm looking at different breaks that might be here. Um, there's the two in the corner, in the bottom right corner, could be a break. Uh, the 710 might be a break. It kind of looks like it's off here. Um, the 512 could be a break. So we, we've got several different options for breaks, and now what we're doing is using the balls to get on them. And I believe I use the 512 as my break. Um, so I, I play up for the 9 so that I can make sure that I get to a good position to break. Now the 14 might be a break here, but even if it is, that angle is going to be so shallow that I'm going to only hit the 12, maybe the 5, and I stand a good chance of stopping right in the middle of the rack. So I'm looking at these other breaks to decide which one I want from here. I've got the 10-7 in the side. I've got the 10-7 in the corner. Uh, assuming I make the, the 9 ball and roll forward, uh, I have the 5-12, which is what I'm going to eventually choose because that's a fairly straightforward break shot, and it allows me to control the cue and push everything away from the rack. Now, I'm kind of not a fan of taking the 9 here because it's a break shot, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyhow. Uh, I could do some other things, but the 9, I set up for it, so I'm going to take it. <clears throat> now, I've got the 512, and what I want to do here is I want to shoot this, and I want to roll through it, uh, or I want to stop the cue ball, and basically spread everything out. And I do, I hit that probably too hard, uh, but I've got the 15 on the side. I've got a ball down the table I could leave for. Um, I need to get the 14 out of the way because the two ball is a break shot. So I'm going to roll up and try to get on this 14 in the bottom right hand corner. I'm a little short of where I want to be. Now I'm going to hit the two. Um, so I need to make sure I know the angle I'm going to hit the two because the last thing I want to do is pocket this two. I, I need it. Um, the five can be a break shot where it is uh, with the cue ball just below where the two is, just, just below the rack where the two is. Like if you came straight down towards the end of the table and just went just past that line. Um, but it's not a great break shot. It works, but it's not a great one. Okay, so the two came up, and now I've got to decide which one of these I'm going to take to get down the table. I can take the five and roll out, or I can take the two. I'm going to take the five is going to be my choice, and the reason it's going to be my choice is because I can get a pretty good break from down near the corner pocket shooting the two in the bottom right uh, and running into the rack, and that's what I'm looking at there. So if I land in the middle of the table, I have to draw off of that, which is not a great break shot. It'd be bottom right-hand English if, if I was to leave the cue where it is right now to shoot the two. Um, but it's also got to be perfect, because if I get too far down the rail, I'm kind of in a bad place. Okay, so I need to, I'm looking at whether I want to be above the two and shoot with top inside English, or below the two and shoot with top running English and it's a pretty easy choice that I want to be over by that corner and down by the end rail. So we draw back 
speed to get down by the end rail. And now we're going to speed up the rack. Now this is a decent brake shot. Um, I've got the natural angle to hit the rack. I just need to make sure that I leave myself with a shot. So I'm going to control the cue. I'm not going to really pound into this. It's really easy to scratch from there. Uh, so top English to, to hit the bottom of the rack. And I only have two shots here. I can either take the seven up in the top corner or I can take the five down in the uh, bottom left corner by banking it. Uh, the five is going to let my cue ball go, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to shoot the seven up in the top corner. And then to, you saw me figuring out my break shot. Basically, I'm going to roll the seven forward. Or I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna shoot the seven. I'm going to roll forward for the one in the side, on the side on the right, and then the eight ball can be used to break out the rack. <clears throat> so I misjudge the angle a little. I stick inside the rack. That's the end of the run.